Well, the grizzly bear is a real spiritual bear to our people. It's um, sacred. Hey, for thousands of years, the Stadium people have lived with bears successfully. All my life growing up, I was taught that the bears were our brothers. So we were taught that the grizzly bear is the one that taught our people how to survive on the land. They taught us what foods were good to eat because we all eat the same foods, the bears and humans. They taught us which medicines to eat by following and learning what they, what they were eating. The bear is our brother. To, do, to not have the bear on the land is something that's really hard to fathom. As our teacher, our medicines, and our spirit guide will be gone. When the bears are in the meadows and they're digging, they're turning up the soil, they're planting the different plants, um, changing the way the structure is. When the grizzly bears aren't there, the ramifications go to all different kinds of things. So the pollinators are affected, there's fewer flowers. The water can't get into the ground because it gets too hard, where when the bears are digging, there's holes and structure and changes. The soil is looser for it to for plants to grow in, for the water to infiltrate in. So the bear really has this important role to play in maintaining the ecosystem, not only for itself, but for many other uh, species on the landscape. It's time that we start giving back to those same grizzly bears, that same bloodline that has brought us to where we are. I have to make sure that I fight for these animals that are out there for my future generations so we can actually continue the practice of being statly and being uchlumu, being who we are and what we did on the land and showing it that respect and that compassion because we are the managers and we need to step in and actually manage the lands. The Grizzly Bear Recovery Project is to implement the Satliam Chiefs Council Resolution. And what that is, is to protect the grizzly bear in the Statlium territory. We've been taking an active role with grizzly bears on uh, trying to improve the situation. So we've been monitoring some female grizzly bears. We've set cameras, we've used collars, uh, and we're trying to understand what the bears need so we can develop the best possible strategies on the landscape. What we do is we carry these um, brown paper lunch bags so we can collect scat. <laughs> we take a GPS point and then we put it on the, on the bag from where we find it. And if, there, if we know that there's a grizzly bear in the area, then we can um, get the DNA off of the bear scat. The, the grizzly bear is the stewards of the land, the guardians of the land. They're tilling the land so that we can get the same plants that they're eating. They're spreading the seed. They're helping to ensure our own survival within Statlium territory. And once our stewards of our land are gone, what is left for us? This is the meadow where Jewel's last live points were recorded. So the day before she died, the hours before she died, she was in this meadow, using this meadow, uh, and she's no longer with us.
walking through this meadow uh, right now, it's kind of a lonely feeling because I know that in the past there was bear here. I seen I seen the evidence, and now that is gone. So it feels like a family member is gone from the area. If we don't take serious action in the next five to ten years, the risk is the bears will be gone from the landscape and potentially gone forever. And are you prepared to live with that? I guess that's the question that we need to start asking ourselves. Right from the time the settlers came into our country, there was a fear of the grizzly bear and the bears in general. There was the feeling that they were competition rather than helpers. Grizzly bears and bears in general were just shot, some for trophy and some just being a nuisance and some because there was fear that they were taking the settlers food. Human bear conflict has resulted in the loss of at least six female bears in this unit over the last 10 years and those impacts are staggering. Every female, that means all of her cubs are lost too. So if we're going to make a difference, the time to act is right now. We need to manage people on the landscape and the impacts on the habitat and support the bears so that recovery is possible. And the Statium do have the opportunity right now to help the bears to recover to a viable population. South of our territory, the bears are pretty much extirpated. It's important that we start taking our, our lessons and using them to support and enhance the grizzly bear population.